When I first got diagnosed, I could not look at myself in the mirror because I knew there'd be a person staring back at me saying, how are you going to deal with this situation? Am I going to survive the next six to seven months to meet my son? That was a really big thing. I'm Tom, I'm 34, and I'm a survivor of a rare Hodgkin's lymphoma. It was around Christmas 2018, Courtney, my fiance, who was eight weeks pregnant. All of a sudden, she just rocked up one day to my work with a pregnancy test, and she... <laughs> the furthest thing from our mind was having kids, to be honest. We were all about that adventure life and just being fit and healthy and active. I think it was maybe two, three days after Christmas, I kind of felt into my armpit and I just felt this huge lump under there. I went to a doctor. She sort of gave me an initial rough diagnosis. The first thing I did is I got in my car and I drove around the corner and I stopped and I called my mum. I just rang her and I said, I think they think the doctor thinks I've got cancer. And she just went quiet. And um, yeah, I got really upset. I sort of broke down because I was just like, I don't know what, how to feel about it. I don't know like why, like it was just, like thoughts were just rushing through my head immediately. Like, you know, like my first thought is, am I gonna meet my child? My mum running sort of our close family and a couple of my close mates. And they all sort of came around. <laughs> it was funny because one of my mates was smoking at the time. We sort of went out in the balcony and had a chat about it and they were really positive and supportive. And I said, give me a cigarette. He's like, what? I was like, I've already got cancer. I actually sought a lot of external help psychologically. I think there was always that stigma of like, you know, does it make me a weak person or a vulnerable person having to see a psychologist? But I knew that, you know, getting my mindset in the right place would involve actually talking to an expert. So I did a couple of cycles of the chemotherapy. It's actually funny because when I started chemo, all the symptoms that I would get were exactly the same as pregnancy. <laughs> like the nausea, not being able to eat certain foods, the energy, like it was kind of a positive, funny running joke that we had through the whole process. I'd be like, oh, I'm feeling like this today. She's like, me too. <laughs> I had a stem cell transplant and I was having a really difficult time breathing. They put me into ICU because they didn't really know what was going on. I had this one specialist, he said, we're giving you probably between a five and 15% chance of making it through this, you know, which is tough to hear. Yeah, I, I would get quite emotional sort of thinking that we'd get to this situation where Courtney would be a, a single mum, you know? The whole process of being hospital for a long period of time is quite hard and isolating. It's like a time capsule. It was really hard for me to figure out what was daytime, what was nighttime. So I had to do a lot of reading and meditating. The mindset and the toughness of jujitsu really helped me pull through and remain in a positive and calm headspace. I walked out of hospital on my birthday with my newborn son. I would easily say that's probably one of the greatest days of my life one of the things that gave me the drive to make sure that I got through the process. So as far as my condition goes, uh, I'm in remission, which you know, they class as cured, I guess, in some aspects. It took a couple of years, but I'm back fully active, back to Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, which was a really massive highlight for me. I'm addicted again and can't stop training. <laughs> Looking back at that period of my life, I think it's probably the best thing that ever happened to me, which sounds strange because it was such a hard thing to go through, but it makes you realise what's important and what's not important. I was a person that really didn't handle stress that well. Now I've probably nearly completely abolished it from my life. Being really grateful and living in the present moment is a big aspect of that. I know I can deal with difficult situations well. I got there, yep. There's a bit of drama around it, but I got there. If 
anything that I've said resonates with you or you'd like to read more, please check out the links below.